Hi, this is Paul Crow, and we're here on Spice of Your Blog. Um, in this video, this video post, we're going to look at a a bookmarking gadget from Sharedis, and this gadget is basically um, it's basically a gadget that sits in a fixed position on the side of your blog, with the option for readers to to share your posts. Um, and as I say, it's it's from Sharedis, and I've I've covered a a lot of widgets from Sharedis. Um, over the last few months and, and basically share this as kind of a um, basically a, a kind of easy way to use social bookmarking um, and they started with an, kind of an all-in-one social bookmarking widget and they've kind of expanded to having lots of different options and in my opinion for the kind of all-in-one share this or sharing kind of websites I think they're, they're probably the best um, so the one I want to look at today is basically a fixed widget that sits inside your blog and I'm sure you've seen this on lots and lots of blogs where as you scroll down the page there will be uh, options to share the post that kind of scroll with you on the side of the page. There's a couple of different ways you would see them. You would often see one that kind of scrolls slowly down and follows you down the page and other ones are just fixed on the side of the page. So this one is just fixed. Um, and the great thing about it is how easy it is to implement. Um, so let's pop over to share this and have a look at this post is going to be this video is going to be in the post and spice of your blog so if you're watching on youtube or elsewhere there'll be a link in the description to come to the post and see some of the instructions okay so let's go to share this i will have a link in the post to share this um, so this is share this is at share this .com. and if we click actually first of all you can see here i'm logged in with my twitter account i think you, you do need to be um, logged into you share this you need to kind of sign up i'm logged in with twitter it took two seconds um just basically log in my twitter account you can do that with twitter or facebook so once you quickly log in um you click the labs button so we have a couple of options here at the top we're going to click labs when we click labs we'll get a couple of different options these are things they're kind of working on and um, they're all in beta but they all work fine. And the second option we see here is the hovering buttons, which says they are better. So if we click get it now, we will come in and have a look at the instructions, but we'll also see the widget in action because they have it on this page. So if I drag the camera over here, you can see here, fixed on the left-hand side. Now my webcam is kind of slightly um, blocking that, so let's pull that out of the way. Okay, so there we can see the, the, the options to share the page, and you can see as you scroll, they will stay fixed in position. And if somebody clicks, it will pop up, and there's the share bar here to share on different networks. Now, I've covered share this before and how share this work. And one of the good features of share this is that basically when you click this, this is called an OAT um, widget. And when you when you click share this, it will actually share it on the different social networks that you're logged into. So even though I just click Twitter, it will share it on Twitter and the other social networks I'm logged into. And down here you can see highlighted at the moment, I'm logged into Facebook, Twitter, Google Buzz, and Yahoo. So if I click share right now, it will actually be shared on all four networks. So when people come to your blog and they click share, the networks they're logged into, and this will be via share this, will be highlighted and to be sharing them more than once. That's great for your blog. Okay, so that's the widget in action. You can you can see the buttons on it at the moment are Facebook, Twitter, Buzz, LinkedIn, and email, and the share this button which opens up all the other options. Um, now we have one little thing with this, and that is basically this guy down here, promo. Let's click the promo and we can see this promo section slides out here with a 300 by 250 promotion or banner. Let me click and get rid of it. Now, one of the options they have here is to place ads inside this. Now, something sure this want to do is, is start selling ads themselves. Um, so basically what will be happening is if you added this, people could come to the share this site and say that they want to buy that ad space off you. Um, I personally can't see that working out. I can't see people going to share this to buy advertising. Um, but the other option to have is to place AdSense in there. Now, as soon as I seen that, um, I seen it on another thing, which was a share bar, a toolbar, that you could put across the bottom of your blog. And as soon as I seen it, I guess alarm bells kind of rang because it's one of those things that looks to me like AdSense would not be in favor of. But then share this as a huge site and they'd be a partner of, of, of Google. So I, the fact that they're offering it makes me think maybe Google think it's okay, but there's no definitive answer. Um, 
and you can actually have this set to pop out after a, a number of times so what you can do is you can set that when somebody lands on your page after 10 seconds this will automatically scroll out the ad will automatically scroll up um, and as I say I really can't um, know for sure if AdSense would allow this um, and one of the things I did was I actually when I covered the share bar which is another um, thing from labs which was basically a toolbar down the bottom with all these similar options and extra options and a, uh, a section for an AdSense ad to also pop up from the toolbar when I seen that and I published a post on it I got a few questions about it, whether AdSense would be for it or against it and I posted it in the AdSense forum you can see here from me Spice Upper Blog are these gadgets from Sharedis against the TOS this is in the AdSense help forum um, and I know I'm going off track but I think this doesn't need to be sorted out I don't want any of you guys putting ads in this putting AdSense in this getting your AdSense account closed and blaming me so I did place it in the AdSense forum I asked is it okay I got an answer here from a uh, from a top contrib contributor to to the AdSense forum now, a top contributor is not a Google employee somebody comes in and contributes but they've contributed so much that they get this kind of top contributor rank um, and his reply originally was share this is an established his or hers I don't know if it's made of email share this is an established site and a Google certified third-party ad network so I think it has come to an agreement with Google about this ad implementation okay so I say I think the same but that's not a definitive answer from a Google employee and that's the big thing here and um, this guy was web has kind of helped me as much as he could but usually you would hope to get a Google employee to share some light on it and that hasn't happened now I might flag this up uh, trade up again and hopefully get some attention to it again but for now I would say don't add AdSense in this widget um, just because we have not cleared I also sent a um, I take it into the share this help and ask them and I got no reply whatsoever so I did ask try and ask them to have they clear this with AdSense and I got no reply whatsoever so what you can do is basically use this without the ads and um, you guys can go and place it in the AdSense form just search for Google AdSense form and you can post a question in there as well and maybe you will get an answer and you can also send a ticket in to share this and hopefully you'll get an answer and if you do please do come tell me so I can share it with everybody else so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this without the the slide out ad okay so <clears throat> that's all that out of the way all the stuff covered so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this without the ads really quickly okay so we're on share this we've gone to labs we're logged in with our, our Twitter account or you've logged in the way you want to log in and what we want to do is generate this share bar for our blog so let's scroll down and the first part we see here is that um, ads scroll the ad this is make money with hovering buttons okay so you see enable ads here is clicked and we're going to unclick it it's gone done finished we're not going to be using the ads so now we can get on to just adding the bookmarking buttons so you can see the docking position here left and right and we can click on either um, let's leave it on left and um, we can see here the share buttons I don't know why you'd want to get rid of them all. I suppose if you're using just the ads. So we click on the share buttons and we can choose which buttons to show Facebook, Twitter, Google Buzz, LinkedIn, email, and share this. So we're going to leave them all in place. You can take out one or two if you want. And click get the code. So, really, apart from explaining the ad side of it, you can see how quick and easy it is. So we've generated two sections of code. And what we're going to do is we're going to add them to a test blog and you'll see exactly how it's done. Okay, so let's go to this test blog here. Test blog 129. And as I say, we will have I will have all the steps in the post on Spice Up Your Blog, as well as in the video. So what we want to do is go to our design page. I'm clicking it from the nav bar here. We're going to go to edit HTML. Let's bring over our camera. We're going to go back and get our first section of code. And our first section of code here is basically the script that makes this widget work. So let's copy that first section of code. We're going to select all and copy. We're going to go back here to our edit HTML page. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a closing head tag. So let's click Control F forward slash head. And as I say, I will have this in the post. I'll have these tags for you. So there's our closing head tag. And we're going to place the script above the closing head tag. Like so. I don't know why that hasn't all. There we go. So there's the script added above the closing head tag. 
Now we're going to go back to share this again. We see our second snippet of code here. Let's highlight all of the code, make sure we get it all. We're going to copy, go back to our edit HTML page, and now we want to find the closing body tag. So we're going to control F again, get our search bar up, forward slash body. There's our closing body tag, and directly above that, we're going to place that second snippet of code. Once we do that, we can save our template. Now we can view our blog. Our blog pops up, and on the left-hand side, there is our share bar. Our sharing buttons, as we scroll the page, they're fixed perfectly in position. Could not be easier. So there's lots of tutorials for things like this, but how easy was that? Very, very simple, very, very quick. And all the options are there, because if you click share this, you'll get the default options up. You can click more. And every single social network you might want your posts shared on are available here for people to share them on them social networks. So that's the video. Thanks for watching.